New developments, an attorney who had a stroke and couldn't make it to court is speaking only to Channel 2 about the tongue lashing he received from the judge. The judge found the attorney in contempt of court and said she planned to file a grievance with the state bar over his behavior. So Channel 2's Tom Jones was in court when it happened and with us live in Clayton County. Tom, uh, the attorney's really upset about this. That's right, Justin. Matt Tucker is very upset because that tongue lashing was on national television. And also, he says, because he was in the hospital recovering from that stroke and had let the court here know he had a medical emergency. You need to seriously seek new counsel. I was astonished. I couldn't believe it. He's doing you a disservice because you've been here. She kind of, yeah, made me look real bad on TV. And I... It was the tongue lashing heard around the country. I am going to find that Mr. Um, Tucker is in contempt of court. Judge Shanna Rooks Malone lit into defense attorney Matt Tucker after he didn't show up for jury selection in the murder trial of his client, Hannah Payne. She's accused of murdering 62-year-old Kenneth Herring back in 2019. Police say Herring hit a car and left the scene and say Payne tried to make a citizen's arrest and shot him. We're ready to start a trial today. Payne told the judge Tucker suffered a stroke Saturday and was in the hospital. The judge said he never contacted her office. I am going to also file a grievance with the state bar of Georgia because of his um, behavior. This was shocking. Tucker told me from his hospital bed his office emailed the court to let staff know he had a medical emergency Saturday. He doesn't understand why the judge refused to accept his client's word. I've never lied to the court. I'm an officer of the court. Tucker didn't like the judge airing his medical condition on TV and telling Payne Tucker was a disservice to her. It is not a disservice. We've been waiting for this trial for three years. We and Tucker says he and his client are concerned they may not get a fair trial. He says he may have to file a motion to get the judge removed from this case. Meanwhile, there's no word when this trial will pick back up. We're live in Clayton County in Jonesboro. Tom Jones, Channel 2 Action News.